Can you come in here? No, that's what I'm coming to ask you. So what is it, the barrier's right here? No, nope, barrier's right, line's right there. You step back out the door. Outside, okay. Can we be a little cordial and professional? Please, step out. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press coming to you from Longmont, Colorado. And today, we are at the Longmont Safety and Justice Center. I'm out with Watching the Watchmen. And uh, we're going to give these folks a visit and see if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of uh, public buildings. Time and temperature check. Today is Monday, December 23rd at 3.18 in the afternoon and it is 53 degrees. Standard of behavior. All right, so let's rip through this real quick. Expectation responsibilities. Uh, let's see. Public urination, these are the things that are not allowed, obviously. Uh, disorderly conduct, fighting, possessing an open container, drinking alcohol, possession, or being under the influence of drugs, loitering for more than 30 minutes, begging, harassment, display of a weapon, sexual activity, misconduct, indecent exposure, having a contagious disease, Smoking or failure to leave the building when asked. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go see how that goes. Doesn't say anything about photography or video. Hello. Hi. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Let, oh, me, get, let me get that for you. I just dropped it. It's Christmas, it's in the air. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, so you can uh, push for help here if you need the police. Very cool. Mr. Watchman, sir. Have your standard green box for your medication and drug disposal. This guy already spotted our cameras. He's probably going to run over here. Um, and we have no attention, intentions of going into the court with cameras because uh, that's not allowed anywhere. Told you. How you doing today? Good, you guys? Doing well, thank you. I go somewhere. Wait, you gotta, you gotta close the glass door for privacy? Huh? Close the glass door for privacy? Yeah, here. Oh, you're going away, I got you, okay. So, uh, let's see, all cell phones, iPods, cameras, electronics, food and drinks and knives and blah, 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 are not allowed past the court entrance. It must be returned to your vehicle. These items may not be left with the security officer. So I believe he locked the door because he took off. Yeah. All right. So when he comes back, we can uh, take a look at the little entry hallway there. So you have your restrooms and phone this way. And uh, just so you guys can see, the court clerk is in here. You can see the sign straight back from uh, where I'm looking. All right, cool. So we have some public information here. Pamphlets. This says public safety records, copies of police and fire records. I wonder if this is where you would do CORA requests too. Records request forms, yep. Okay. All right, let's see if we see any uh, complaint accommodation forms. So we have some more uh, 
public information pamphlets. Here's a uh, directory of the building. So here's the uh, police, policing in partnership with the people. So it says here, police information to make a report and they've moved, removed fingerprinting. So I guess they used to do fingerprinting here and they don't do it anymore. And I don't see any more forms out here, so we'll let's see if there's anybody that can help us out. Hello, how are you? Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I actually wanted to see if, um, are you an officer? I'm not an officer. Okay, uh, my name's Jason, by the way. Okay. And um, I wanted to ask you if you have any complaint slash commendation forms. Well, we have um, not official complaint forms, but um, we have statements and stuff like that you could fill out. We don't have a form specific for that reason. So what does what someone, like if a member of the public comes in and they're interested in making a commendation or a complaint, what would they use? We'd give them a piece of paper or if they, did, if they didn't bring anything of their own in. Okay, so there, there is no official form for that? Form for that. No, huh? Um, is there any, any like a citizen comment form or anything like that? Nothing like that either? No official form for that either. Wow. Um, is that something you guys might plan on having in the future, you think? Or it's just nothing? Do people ever come in and ask you for that kind of stuff? No. No? They, if it's, it doesn't have to be, what do you mean by official? It's, it's not a piece of paper? Well, I, I don't want to say every because, of course, there's always exceptions to the rules, yeah. such as yourself. But um, most police departments, the vast majority, when you go in, they'll either have a combination, uh, combination, um, commendation right. complaint form or two separate forms right. or citizen comment form no, we, or something where people can come in because if somebody's got a issue they need to express whether it's positive or negative no they can we can certainly provide them with the paper to write what they want okay if we don't have an official form for that though gotcha and then just out of curiosity how would that then be handled so if i just filled something out on a plain piece of paper and handed it to you now would you do you log that in is there any it would depend on where you would want that to go to okay so let's say it was a uh, complaint on an officer. It would go up to our police standards unit. Police standards unit. Okay. And does that get logged in so it's recorded that I left it here? Or? I don't know what they do once it gets up. No, no. I mean when I leave it with you. Is it there get logged in anywhere. Or is there a receipt for that type of thing? Or? No, we don't have a receipt for that. Okay. I know I'm asking a lot of questions. I'm just, we do public service videos, so I'm just trying to figure out how the system works no, in this particular department. No, huh? Okay. And you don't get people coming in wanting to do commendations either? Well, we do, but they usually put them on their own card or they call. They okay. Call and and what about like on your website? Is that something somebody can do on your website? Is that an available thing or? Um, we don't have a specific website that they would want to, you know, like they fit with a comment section. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, good. Well, that answers my question. Okay. Very good. And I'm sorry, what was your name? My name's Terry. Terry. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate your help. Hey. You too. And have a happy holiday. This is a community meeting room, which is in use. What's upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, that's a new one. I've never experienced that before. They have no commendation form and they have no complaint form. Um, but according to Terry, that can be written on uh, any piece of paper or they can give you a piece of paper and then they'll get it to the appropriate place. Oh, this is cool. The Iron Clam. Oof. I don't know what that's for. You ever see an Iron Clam before? No. I don't know what that's for. 
I'm not sure I want to know. Longmont residential area, year unknown. This is mother and child, downtown Longmont, year unknown. That's a cool picture. December 24th, 1904. Look at that. It's at 115 years ago tomorrow. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. Caution, danger ahead, police department. Ain't that the truth? All right, so here's 4th and Main, circa 1920. Very cool. And this says administration. Hello. Hey, what can I do for you? How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing well. You look. It looks like we caught you just leaving. I am just leaving. Well, we won't Hi. take too much of your time then. My name's Jason. Hi, Jason. And you are? I'm Carrie Kleiman. Carrie, nice to meet you. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet Hi. you. And then we're just taking a look at your building. Do you mind telling me what, as obvious as it might sound, what exactly is done here at administration as far as this office is concerned? Administration um, holds the um, public safety chief, the fire chief, the uh, head of emergency, um, Office of Emergency Management. Okay. Admin people like me. So this is where the big decisions get made, basically. Yeah. For public safety. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And have you been working here for a long time? Not very long. Since no? last April. Oh, well, cool. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you. And we appreciate your smile and cordial demeanor. Means a lot. It really does. Awesome. You don't always get that. But well, I, I hope you're finding what you need. We are. It's a beautiful building, and it seems like you have some nice folks working here. Okay. All right. Have a, have a happy holiday. Happy New Year. Thank you for your time. All Take right. Support Services Division, training room. Detectives. Yeah, I guess someone's coming out now. Okay. Thank you, appreciate this. How are you? I'm good, how are you today? Doing well, thank you. My name's Jason, and uh, can I get your name? Yeah, Matt Cage. Matt, nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you. Uh, we were downstairs at the uh, desk down there, and I was asking about either uh, complaint slash accommodation forms. Do you guys have anything like that up here? Because they didn't downstairs. No, this is detectives, so, I mean, if you want to talk to, if you want to, do a complaint or accommodation, you can call uh, our professional standards unit. I'll oh. get you their number if you'd like. Okay. Um, and then she was also telling me, I guess, is that your understanding if someone wanted to come in and just write something out on a plain piece of paper, you would accept that? And like what kind of thing? Like accommodation or a complaint? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted because in most police departments that I've been to, they have a form that's either a combined form or two individual forms for that kind of stuff. We don't really have that. I mean, if you want to say something nice or something or a complaint about an officer or only nice things to say so far. Okay, then yeah. we'll we'll be glad to give you the the form to do that. So we want to hear your what what you got. Oh, so you do have a form? No, no, that will get you a forum sorry I oh the forum. forum i'm sorry i thought you said that. form okay no. i got you no we don't have a form so it would be what a matter of actually physically talking to somebody about it or uh yeah so i mean if you have an in, if you have a complaint or you want to say something nice you uh you, we can get you the 
professional standards unit, which is, um, and they generally work business hours. So I don't know if they're here right now. Now, what would happen, and I know I might not be asking the right person, so I don't want to put you on the spot, but what if somebody comes in and they wanted to anonymously either make that commendation or complaint? Same thing. Yeah, same So thing. how would they do that? Um, to, to and not, Like if somebody just wanted to come in, drop something off, say, here, I don't want to give it. and give it to the front desk downstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, write it down, hand it off. It's all good. All right, good. I guess you guys don't have many of that, much of that action going on. Right. Uh, hopefully not. No. I mean, the good well, the commendations too are yeah, important. Those you know, are always nice. A lot of good know. cops out there. A lot of good cops. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of good and bad, like everything else in the world, right? That's it. All right. No, and I appreciate your information. Um, just a suggestion for whatever it's worth. It might be a good idea for somebody to consider just having those things readily available out in the, uh, in the lobby here. Okay. You know, because sometimes. If you speak to an officer about your complaint or your accommodation, sometimes they want to vet that before you're able. Some people just want to come in, they want to anonymously, maybe they just have a suggestion or a comment. They don't want to give their name and they just want to kind of just let you guys know about something. You know what I mean? So you might be depriving yourself of information at the same time. Very so just an, just an idea, just a thought. I like it. Just one guy's idea. Sounds but I appreciate your time, I appreciate your cordial uh, information and wish you a happy holiday and a happy new year. Have a great holiday. Take Thank you, sir. Take care. And then this is training room and public restrooms. Down this way. So where this gentleman just went in is the training room entrance, which is uh, keyed access. So this is the uh, men's room, women's room, my favorite feature in all these buildings, the water fountain, for those of you who know. It's very dry in Colorado and you have to keep hydrating. Always a good thing. Doors open. Let's just take a look in here real quick. Hey, zoom in on that. That's a good name for a uh, public employee. Rob Spend Low. probably why you got the job actually no it's probably <laughs> oh this is a nice picture pretty cool No, that's what I'm coming to ask you. So what is it, the barriers right here? No, nope, barriers right, right, right there. You step back out the door. Outside, okay. Can we be a little cordial and professional? Please, step uh, out. There you Thank go. You, sir. No need, I mean, I feel like you're physically oh. pushing me out the door. Just, you know, take no, a deep I, breath, relax, I, you'll be time, fine. Every time I go, I got You're going to make it. You've made it through oh, a lot of years. You'll make it through a lot more. <laughs> but look, what, let me just ask you a question. I'm, I'm following your instructions. I mm. came out, so just if you could just give me a second. So it says here, that past the court entrance. So you're, you're considering this the entrance, it's not your security desk? No, nope, it's the entrance right here. All right, good. I respect that and just yep. wanted to clarify with you with yep. G4S. Yep. L. Gerlock. Thank you, sir. You have a happy holiday. Thank you. Wow. Felt like somebody yelled blue light special at Kmart. And I was standing right next to the blue light. <laughs> All right, well, this is the... The attorney's office is back there, court clerk, and the uh, courthouse. So 
no access to those areas. Well, all right, guys. So that was the uh, Longmont, Colorado Police Department and uh, Judicial Services Building. Um, security guards, a little amped up on his position there, but he uh, he cooled out for a second, I guess, and he's just uh, following orders. And uh, you know, as usual, we like you guys to uh, chime in and let us know in the comments what you think, what your thoughts and concerns are, and. Uh, your ideas and uh, we look forward to hearing all that stuff from you um, also if you support what we do and you enjoy these videos we encourage you to uh, very simple way to support us which will cost you absolutely nothing is by hitting the like button sharing our videos subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified of all our new uh, videos and that would be for myself and watching the watchman uh, so take a look at his channel as well. He's got a great zoom lens and he gets a lot of uh, angles and a lot of zooms on things that I can't get with my uh, GoPro. So that's going to do it for here, guys. So uh, coming to you from the Longmont Safety and Justice Center in Longmont, Colorado. Watching and watching. I'm against the press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.